What's up, guys? It's Logan, and um, welcome to my podcast. This is going to be the first podcast of many. Um, here, I'll just be talking about like what's coming up this week, which will be new albums releasing tomorrow, being that it is Thursday. Um, I'll also be talking about like what I've been listening to lately, just this past week, just so you can keep up with that. And then I'll also have a discussion at the end, just talk about what's going on in life, like just relevant stuff to music. Um, maybe sometimes it'll be a discussion about like old school stuff, comparing artists going through discographies, anything like that. So um, yeah, that's just what you can expect from this. First off, I'll go ahead and get started with, with what's coming up. And yeah, first off, we have a new Kodak Black album. If you don't know who Kodak Black is, he's someone who's been blowing up lately. He uh, he appeared on that Metro Boomin album, Not All Heroes Wear Capes. Um, he's also had a few albums of his own. None of them have really blown up exactly, but he is still getting big, and a lot of people have gotten to where they enjoy him. He's never been personally one of my favorites. I've never really listened to much of his solo content just because I don't really enjoy his sound that much, but I will be checking out this new album, seeing, you know, what he's bringing. You know, maybe he'll bring something new. Um, I'm going to go into it with low expectations just because, like I said, I have never really enjoyed a lot of his content, but maybe he'll bring out something new. I'm always here for a surprise. Um, other than that, we have an Offset album coming out tomorrow. Um, uh, Offset, as everyone would know, is one of the three Migos. Um, and Migos have been doing a lot of solo albums lately. It's very interesting to hear a lot of their stuff, especially considering that they've always been a group that I think you know work best as a group. Um, together, they put out Culture 2 earlier this year. That was a huge disappointment compared to Culture 1. It was just too long, too many songs, and so much filler. Um, and then, yeah, like I said, all of them have put out solo albums, so we'll see how this one turns out. Um, both of the solo albums that they've put out this year have just been kind of disappointing, not really. I mean, about what you would expect from a solo project from one of the Migos instead of all three of them together. So I'll go into this one with open with an open mind. I do like the Migos, so maybe this one will you know, change the tone a little bit, bring out something better. We'll see. I'll go into it and just check it out. Um, and then the other major album that I will be checking out this week is by Vic Mensa, and it is called The Hooligans EP. Um, Vic Mensa is another artist that I really haven't listened to too much of his solo stuff, but I have heard a lot of his features. I have enjoyed some of his features. Um, yeah, I really don't have many expectations going into this one, not because I don't care so much for his solo work or what he's put out, his body of work, but just because, I mean, he's an artist that really doesn't get out that much, doesn't do that much compared to the other ones. He's not as big of a name. Um, so... I'll just go into and see what happens. Honestly, I'm kind of expecting that to be the best album that comes out this week um, out of those three, but we'll go into it and just see how it goes. Um, yeah, like like I said, I really don't have too many expectations from anything coming out this week. I don't expect any of these to make it on my top 10, but I'm going to keep my mind open and just see where it goes and see what happens. You know, you never know what's going to happen there. Um, but with that, yeah, that's all of the upcoming albums. Um, I'll talk a little bit about like what I've been listening to this week. So um, I've definitely listened to a lot of the album Taboo by Denzel Curry. Like ever since that album came out, I've listened to that album or at least parts of that album every single week since it came out. That's not to say that that is going to be the number one album on my top 10 list as we are in the month of December. It's getting very close to that. Um, I don't think it'll land number one. It'll definitely be top five unless of like a lot of really good albums come out within the next few weeks. But it's definitely probably at this point going to be my favorite. Now there is a difference again between my favorite and my number one. My number one considers my enjoyment and what I think like the content of it is. Um, so that has to take into consideration uh, we have a lot of good albums that have come out this year. Pieces of a Man by Mick Jenkins, Taboo by Denzel Curry, Care For Me by Saba, Book of Ryan by Royce Five Nine, just to name a few. So there is a lot of contention there regarding some of those might have better overall content than Taboo, although that has by far been my most enjoyed album this year. And I can just I can listen to that any day, honestly. Um, other than that, I've also, like I said, like I just mentioned, been listening to Pieces of a Man by Mick Jenkins. That was just another really good album that I enjoyed. It did have some like not so great hooks, but overall great content album. He always brings out the best stuff for us. And that's just one that you can't really be disappointed by. Um, you might expect a little bit more from it sometimes, but honestly, that's most likely going to be in my top 10, maybe even top five by the end of the year. We'll just see. But yeah, that is another album I've been listening to. Um, 
just one more that I've been listening to, Room 25 by No Name. Um, I've never been a huge fan of female rappers. They just usually don't put out the best solo work, name, namely Nicki Minaj. Um, but yeah, I mean, I really love people like Lauren Hill, people like that. So I didn't know what to expect going into that album. And it's been out for a while, and I've gone back to it so many times. It is such a good album by a great female artist. Um, she's someone who I really hadn't listened to that much until this album came out. And ever since then, I've checked out a lot more of her feature work and anything that she's put out. And I'm really impressed by it. It's one that you can just easily go back to. It's not that long. You can listen to the whole thing at any time. So yeah, that's another album that I've really enjoyed. And lastly, just, I mean, it just came out not that long ago. So obviously I'm still going to be checking it out. Some rap songs by Earl Sweatshirt. This is one that I was kind of disappointed with the first time I listened to it. As many people know, it's one of those, it's like, the mixing was kind of off. It sounded a little jumbled, and that's what he was going with, be going for, because like he was going through a depression phase in his life, and he just wanted you to see like what he was feeling, what he was going through at the time in the music. And you can tell that by like at the very end of the album, it starts getting a lot more professionally mixed because he was starting to get like sound happier and all that. Um, but still, that was one that I was disappointed with at first. But I have forced myself to go back to it and listen to it. And I have enjoyed it more every single time I've gone back. It has slowly been climbing in the rankings. I'm not sure if it'll make the top 10 or not. But it might get a honorable mention at the very least. Um, but yeah, it is one that I am starting to enjoy now. And I still definitely suggest checking out whether you're an Earl fan or not. If you're an Earl fan, you'll definitely love it. I've never been a huge Earl fan, although I have always enjoyed all of his solo content. So, of course, I enjoyed this one, and I plan on continuing to revisit it so that I can rank it appropriately. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all of the major albums that I've been listening to lately. I mean, I have been going back and checking out all 2018 albums pretty much. And that's been solely what I'm working on lately because I'm really trying to get this top 10 list out. Um but yeah, other than that, I'm just going to go into a little bit of discussion. This is usually the part of the video where I'll talk about like, you know, the different artists in the past, talk about their discography, maybe do a comparison, just anything interesting, anything that y'all want to hear. But being that this is my first podcast right now, I'll just be talking about um, a little bit about me, what you what like my favorite artists are and stuff like that. Um so first off, I'll say why is my page called Revelation Rap Reviews? Well, um Obviously, it's a rap review page, so you get that part, but Revelation, why is it that? Well, so I actually do make my own music. I'm not here to promote that. That's not what this page is about, but I do make some of my own music, and um, yeah, my rap name's Revelation. I mean, it kind of just, that's as deep as it goes, really. There's not too much depth to it. That's just what I've always liked. I did grow up in a Christian family, so like a book of the Bible. Hey, this sounds cool as a rap name, too. Let's go with that, right? Um, but yeah, that's kind of the reason why it's called Revelation Rap Reviews. Um, like I said, not too much depth in that. Just wanted to explain that. And then a little bit about me, like my favorite artist, favorite album, stuff like that. I mean, obviously, look at me. I'm white, so I grew up on Eminem. That was like the first thing that got me into rap music. Um, so of course, he's going to be up there. But other than that, I mean, you got the Tupac, Biggie, stuff like that. But like my personal favorite artist, like... Nas, I have always loved Nas. I've never heard a bad Nas album. The closest that came to that, honestly, was Nas Ear for me. Um, just, it was a little bit less professionally made. It didn't, it wasn't his best content overall, although I did love the mixing between him rapping over a um, Kanye beat, especially considering in his past, the biggest takeaway from him, the biggest drawback would be that he doesn't always pick the best beats. So that was still enjoyable, and it's still a good album. I'm never going to knock that. I mean, Calling something the worst Nas album is still a good thing, usually. Um, yeah, other than that, um, huge Kendrick Lamar fan right now. I just love all of the content he's putting out. To Pimp a Butterfly is by far one of my favorite, if not my favorite, rap album lately and possibly of all time. I mean, I've just always really enjoyed that. I love the different dichotomies of that, from talking about social justice to talking about his religion to talking about... Um, his survivor's guilt and depression. And yeah, I just love the, all of the content that he puts out. He always brings his best. Um, yeah, those are just a few of my favorite artists. I've always loved, like, I mean, the obvious ones, NWA, Wu-Tang. A Tribe Called Quest has been another group that I've just always followed. I love their sound vibe. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's a lot of my favorite artists. I mean, you'll get a feel 
throughout all of my videos of who I like, who I don't really care for. I definitely love old school rap. However, I'm never going to be one of those that says, oh, the new school can never live up to that because just that's it. They don't make it how they used to, you know, um, music evolves, music evolves, and I'm always going to enjoy it no matter what. I'll find something that I can enjoy. And I mean, that's what I'm going to be bringing to y'all. Um, no, I enjoy all different generations and all different generations bring something new. I'm never going to try to argue for a superiority. Maybe that'll be a discussion one day, like what's the best decade, something like that. But no, I, I'm just here to listen to music. I just really enjoy all types of music, even if it's not particularly good. Sometimes it can just be a guilty pleasure album. And I mean, that's fine. It's never going to be like, oh my God, this is one of the best because it's just guilty pleasure. No, but still... It's just fun to listen to music, and that's just something that connects all of us. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you in this podca podcast. Nothing, nothing too major, just a little bit of what's coming up, what I've been listening to, and a little bit about this page, about me, and what can you, what you can expect going forward. So, thanks for viewing. Please subscribe if you enjoyed it. Leave a like and share the page so it can grow a little bit. Um, thanks so much, and I'll be coming out with new stuff regarding the albums that I discussed coming out soon.